experienced this. Okay, I've got two hours to finish this project and... What? No! Or this. Not to worry, I got you covered. This is DIY in five. Hello everyone and welcome to DIY in five. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and today we're gonna cover some of the most common problems you might encounter when your computer will not boot up and how you might be able to fix it. If you find the tips in today's video useful, please give us a like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. You've probably heard the term POST before in reference to PCs. It stands for Power On Self-Test, and it refers to a series of self-diagnostic tests a PC will run upon first powering on. Both Mac and Windows computers will run these tests, and if everything succeeds, your computer will boot up as normal. When building your own PC, getting your PC to post is a huge achievement because it means the build was successful. Huzzah! If the post process encounters an error, your work begins. Most of the time you will get an error code, then consult your manual to figure out what that specific error code means. If you're getting a sequence of beeps, that's another way your motherboard can let you know which component might be the issue. Check your motherboard manual for beep code meetings. First, I hate to be the person that says, make sure you plugged it in, but make sure your computer is getting power. Fans should be spinning, lights should be on, etc. If none of that happens, you know you have a power related issue. If everything seems to be working except your fans, your computer will not power up in order to protect the components from overheating thanks to multiple protection circuits on most motherboards. Second, if you've just replaced any hardware component in your PC, remove it one by one to see if perhaps the new hardware is messing you up. If it is, that may mean the hardware is defective or not compatible. If this is a brand new build, make sure all your cable connections are in the correct spots and secured tightly. This has happened to so many new PC builders I know, I can't even count them all. Conversely, if this is an older build and your motherboard has a BIOS chip, that can become loose over time and cause post problems. Open up that puppy and lightly press down on the BIOS chip to make sure that it's not loose. One of the most common post problems is a memory error. This could be an issue with a bad memory module or improper installation, and you may be able to fix the issue by taking the memory out one by one and reinstalling it. If you can get it to boot with even one or more sticks, you might have some bad memory, and in that case, if it's new, hit up that warranty. FYI, as you are watching a Kingston show, I feel obliged to tell you that all Kingston memory comes with a lifetime warranty. If you can get the memory to work in one slot but not another, you might have a defective motherboard. If your computer posts but won't boot up afterward, you should try booting up your computer in safe mode by hitting the F8 key on your keyboard right as your computer starts up. This will start up your computer with the bare minimum software running, and if it starts up successfully, you know there's some hardware issue at play, perhaps a driver or even spyware or a virus. Some antivirus programs might have their own boot disk that will let you scan and clean your PC without booting into Windows. If safe mode doesn't work either, you can use the startup repair tools built into the advanced options in the safe mode menu. If that doesn't work, you might need to do a full operating system reinstall. There's nothing worse than sitting down at your computer to bang out a big project and instead spend the day troubleshooting your PC because it won't turn on. We have all been there. If you've got a problem not solved by any of the fixes mentioned in this video, leave it in the comments and hopefully we'll all be able to help each other out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.